All right, just a handful of finishing touches, and then we're going to move on. So there's, uh, let me run the app real quick. There's two things I want to do. First of all, I'm going to get rid of the button. I'm going to make sure that everything is nice and centered, which it's not, so we'll fix that. And um, I guess three things. I'm going to add some exception handling as well. So uh, let's go to the main page.xaml. This will all be really just quick and easy, honestly. The result text block, I'm going to put that there. And let's put change the font. Font size equals, oh, I don't know, 36. That should be sufficient. Um, foreground equals white. That should look good. Uh, I might even break that up into multiple lines. So let me see how that looks before I get too far here. Let's, uh, we're going to get rid of the button. And um, I think what we're going to do also is um, vertical alignment center. Let's see how that works. And then horizontal alignment equals center on the image and the text. Right. Then on the main page I'm going to get rid, actually, let's go back main page. I'm going to go um, paid, let's add a load, loaded event handler. And then inside there, I'm going to take everything inside that click button and move it like so. And we'll have to add the async keyword like so, and we'll get rid of the button click event. So this will just load up as soon as we load the app. All right, so let's take a look at the changes now and just make sure everything looks good. There are one or two more things I wanna do though. Whoa, that's not what I had in mind whatsoever. Okay, all right, so clearly got one thing I need to do there. Let's wrap another stack panel inside of that stack panel, so. that going for us and we're gonna make the background of the outermost stack panel pink all right why aren't you happy oh that's why okay all right that's good so that should fix that problem let's see what we have ourselves now Okay, ideally I would put these on separate lines. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's the location, the temp, and the description. So um, let's do this. Location. Actually, let's go temp. Description. And then location. I like that better. Temp. Will be the largest. We'll put this at like um, I don't know, 52. The description, yeah, 36 is good there. And then the uh, location, we'll make that smaller, uh, 24. All right, and so temp, description, location. Where are we here? Yeah, temp, text block. description, text, and location, great, okay, so let's grab the location off, stick that there, grab the temp off, and we'll stick that here, and finally, We'll stay, take this and whoops, put that there. And this, the temp here. Great, and we'll get rid of that. Okay, one other thing that I want to do. So, uh, structured exception handling. You always want to wrap any call with a with a try catch statement. Anytime you're calling out to something, you 
don't control. So if it's something you control in your old so your own source code, um, that is up to you. But if you're going to make a call to a network, to a database, to a web service, to something you do not control, to the file system, you want to wrap it with a try catch. Uh, and in this case, honestly, you're going to have to. Typically, you only want to wrap try catch around those those things, not just entire blocks of code. Uh, so you want to be very um, uh, very deliberate and specific with what you're wrapping try catches around. Typically, in this case, if if we get an error in one spot, the whole thing is going to fall down like a house of cards. So uh, in that case, what I'm going to do is just wrap like the entire code passage with the try. Now I could be a little bit more um, a little bit more careful with what gets gets wrapped and what gets reported but honestly I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna take this and in that location I'm just gonna say uh, unable to get weather at this time something like that and so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set a breakpoint right there on the on the try statement and then when I hit that I'm gonna force it to go to that line just so I can see what it looks like by itself alright so let's set right click and say set as the next statement alright well poo on me alright we'll just we'll force this issue we'll go and do it like this instead I just wanna see what it looks like when we can't get all right, let's do this. Let's get rid of that. I'm just gonna comment everything out. I just wanna see what this will look like with just that text in it. I probably need to add the wrapping. No, that should do it. Let's see what it looks like here whenever we see it in our phone. Yeah, I need to wrap a little bit there. All right, no problem. So we'll turn on wrapping. We will wrap. Again. Okay, it's not pretty. I could work a little bit more on this and make it look better, but for my purposes right now, it's just fine. Now, uh, let me go ahead and take the gloves off and let me run it the whole code on the phone emulator. Yes. All right, I'm surprised that this is not lower. Uh, one, let me think about this one second here. Did we not vertical alignment center? Hmm. That surprises me a little bit. But honestly, it's just fine the way that it is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right now. Uh, and again, if you wanted to go and improve this, let me give you one little assignment. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna show you how to solve this, but wouldn't it be great if in addition to right now, uh, the current weather conditions you were able to see for the next seven days, and you can get that through the Open Weather Map API. And you've already got the icons, just make them smaller, just put them out for the next seven days. Figure out how to do that. That would be a nice little addition to this. Um, you can improve some of the exception handling. Uh, you know, maybe add some options to change the background color from pink, hot pink, to whatever you want it to be. So those are all things I'm just going to let you do on your own. Take this, run with it. It's yours. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the next one. All right. So great. We're doing awesome. We'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks.